In today's video editing tutorial, I'm going to show you five easy but awesome text effects. I will show you step by step how to build the following text effects inside Premiere. The first one is the write on effect. Number two is the neon effect. And the third one is the typewriter effect. And number four is the transparent text. And the last one is the underwater wiggle text. Before we head over to Premiere, I want to tell you about the sponsor of this video, Envato Elements. If you are a creator and you need unlimited access to high quality assets, you definitely need to check out Envato Elements. At the moment of recording this video, their huge library contains over 600,000 video templates, WordPress themes, stock photos, fonts and also including high quality stock video, like the clips that I used in the beginning of this video. And the best of all is that you can download unlimited for just $16.50 a month. I honestly think that this is a great deal, so go check it out, links in the video description. Now let's head over to Premiere. We're going to start with the write on effect. The first step is creating the text and you could do this with the type tool. If you're done typing, hit the escape key to exit type mode. Then click these icons to center the text. For this effect I highly recommend you to use a handwritten font. I'm using the Brux font for this one. I will increase the length of the text layer. In the next step, we're going to add a transparent video on top of the first track. Inside the project panel, click this new icon and select transparent video. Accept the defaults and click OK. Take this transparent video from the project panel and put it on the third track of the timeline. Then move over to the effects panel and search for the write on effect. You'll find it under video effects generate. Drag it over to the timeline and apply it to the transparent video. And then move over to the effects control panel and there we're going to increase the brush size. In my example, 20 will do. Make sure that it's large enough to cover the thickness of the text. I will set sharpness to 100% and I'll put duration on 5 seconds for now. And make sure that brush spacing is set to the lowest number, in this case 0.001. Let's zoom in because this needs to be done very precise. Now if you click this icon next to write on, you should be able to freely move the white dot around. And this is the starting point of the writing. As you can see, it's still a little too big, so we're going to lower it to 18. I will put the time indicator at the beginning of the text and then we're going to animate the text. To do this, we need to enable keyframes by clicking this stopwatch icon and then we can freely move the white dot around. I'm going to move it over the text as if I'm writing. And after repositioning, I'm skipping two frames forward by hitting the right arrow key twice. And this is repeated until you've covered the entire text. And as you can see, this now creates a new keyframe for each two frames that we skip. This may take a while, I'll fast forward this one so you don't have to wait. Now when we scrub through the timeline, you can already see the right on effect. There's only one step left and that is adding the track matte key effect. You'll find it under video effects keying. Apply this one to the text layer. Then move over to the effects control panel and set the matte layer to track number 3. And that's it, we're done creating the write on effect. Next we're going to look at the neon effect. And for this one we'll also use the type tool to type the text and hit escape to enter type mode. I'm using the rounded reef font for this one. Center the text and then pick a nice bright color. Something like this will do. In the next step duplicate the text layer twice by holding the alt key and then drag it one track above. Then move over to the effects panel and search for Gaussian blur. You'll find it under video effects blur and sharpen. Then apply this effect to the third track. And after that search for camera blur and then apply this to the second track. And then inside the effects control panel, lower the opacity for the second track to 30%. And set the camera blur to 100%. Then select the third track and go to the Gaussian blur effect inside the effects control panel and increase the value. Just play around with it and see what looks best. In the next step, select the first text layer and then inside the essential graphics panel, change the color to a brighter color. This is a little too bright in my opinion. And also here, just play around with the colors to see which one gives the best result. In the final step, I'll show you how to create the flickering effect. Make sure to zoom in to the max and then switch over to the razor tool. That's the C key or this icon here. And then simply make random cuts of one frame in the second and third track. 
After that, switch back to the selection tool and then delete the parts between. And that results in the flickering effect. On to the next one, the typewriter effect. Inside Premiere, select the Type tool and then click once in the frame to get this red square. Then inside the Effects control panel, enable keyframes for source text. Select the text layer again and then type your first letter. Now we're going to skip three frames between each letter. You can do this by clicking this icon three times. You can't use the arrows because you're in type mode. After that, you can type the next letter and then again skip three frames. And we will repeat this until the word is finished. Again, I'll fast forward so you don't have to wait. Once you're done typing, hit the escape key to exit type mode and then center the text. And now the typewriter effect is finished. If you want, you can speed it up or slow it down. For that, you can use the rate stretch tool. You can find it here or use the R key on your keyboard. Then simply at the end of the text layer, drag it to the left or the right to increase or decrease the speed. Next, we've got the transparent text or video in text effect. This one is really simple. In the first step, create a new black video. In the project panel, click on the new icon and then select black video. Accept the defaults and click OK. Inside the project panel, you will find the black video. Drag it over to the timeline and put it on the second track. And then select the type tool and type the text. And also for this one, make sure to center the text. I would recommend to use a large or bold font. I'm using the Gotham Ultra font for this one. Next, make sure that the text layer covers the clip. After that, go to the effects panel and search for track matte key. You'll find it under video effects keying. Apply this effect to the black video and then inside the effects control panel, select layer number three for the video matte. And then hit the checkbox for reverse and you're done. And now the final text effect, the wiggle underwater effect. Inside Premiere, use the type tool to type the text. Then inside the Sancho Graphics panel, center the text. And I'm using the Gotham Ultra font for this one as well. Then put the title layer on top of the video and extend it if necessary. Inside the effects panel, search for turbulent displays. You will find it under video effects distort. Apply this effect to the text layer. Then move over to the effects control panel and adjust the effect. By default, the amount is set to 50, which is fine. Then enable keyframes for offset and then put that keyframe at the end of the clip. Increase or decrease the value and then put that keyframe at the beginning of the clip. The higher the difference in value between the first and last keyframe, the more the text will wiggle. The next setting to adjust is complexity, I'll put it on 1.5. And we'll also enable keyframes for evolution. Put the keyframe with value 0 at the beginning of the clip and create another one with value 10 and put it at the end of the clip. Now when we do a playback you can see the direct results. This might be a very heavy effect for your computer. As you can see here by the red line we might need to render it first. Simply hit the enter key and Premiere will start rendering. And after that playback will be much smoother. And that concludes this 5 awesome text effects tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed this video and also the pace that I used for the tutorial. As always, I've tried to keep it as short and concise as possible. I'd like to hear your thoughts in the comments below. 